Hey everybody, Matt Helmut again. I wanted to do another, do another quick video on Ardervana, and what I wanted to cover in today's video is uh, how Ardervana software interacts with your DAC and or DACs. And you'll see I have several DACs hooked up. Um, we're going to go through that right now. So this is my launch screen when I start Ardervana. It always brings into my music, my albums, and you can see on the far left side. I can obviously search by artist, I can search by track, uh, there's internet radio stations, then playlists that I've created in Artivana, which are called My Playlists, or playlists from Tidal, you'll see here, or My Playlists that I developed in Cobas, which you'll see there. But anyway, the point is, I wanted to show how you can interact with your DAC. So up in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see a little, what look like a little sliders, volume control, EQ, whatever. If you click on that, it'll open up the audio portion, the audio tab. Let me see if I can expand this just a little bit so you can see a little more room. And what you'll see here is obviously your computer, what version of Windows you're, you're, you're running, how much RAM is being used, uh, and then the CPU load, and then your streaming choices. Uh, Wasapi, ASO, and kernel streaming. Now, output devices, you'll see right now, my shit Bifrost is what is connected, and it'll identify the DAC as what it's capable of doing, which is obviously up to 192 uh, megahertz. And then if it was a DSD-compatible DAC, it would show which, you know, DSD 64, 128, whatever, whatever that DAC is capable of doing. So... One of the things I can do is I can come over here and I can hit this little gear icon next to the DAC name and it'll bring up settings within that DAC. Uh, how you want to do your kernel streaming. I run it at full tilt. Auto detect MQA devices. I don't really care and the shit's not an MQA device. So it's detected and says it's not MQA. Obviously it's not a DSD DAC so it just converts it to PCM. And then you can set the maximum sample rate again uh, if your DAC goes to seven, <clears throat> excuse me, 768, 384, whatever it is, you can set that here in the drop down box. My DAC's limited to 192, so that's where I set it. Latency, uh, when changing sample rate, if I'm going from uh, a 1644 to a streamed high res, maybe at 2448 uh, or 2444 or 2496. Um, put in a little uh, latency just so you don't hear a click and a changeover. Sometimes the DAX can be noisy that way. And then bit a bit depth maximum. I just don't bother with that. Mine's a 24 bit, even though Audubonna thinks it's 32. And then mute during sample rate change. I did that for DSD reasons. So that's that. Now, again, because I can see what I can do PCM, if I come down here to the... Uh, kind of status of what's going on loading and decoding it shows you you know how much buffer I have what it's processing and then I have this option of upsampling and if I open it up right now I'm going to go ahead and deactivate the upsampling so I can activate it I can go uh, two times only which is going to be uh, in the case of the deck 2488 and then I can choose which algorithm I want to use Sox or our brain I like our brain, I think it sounds a little better. I can change the bandquist as a percentage of Nyquist, which of course is the maximum frequency that um, is allowed. And at 1644, it's 22, uh, 22,000 kilohertz. And then the uh, bandwidth attenuation, I don't understand what that is. I leave it alone. Phase, I leave it in linear. But I can come here and I can adjust, um, you know, I can do power of two which will then change the DAC. So let me close it down here and let me go ahead and close that down. You're not going to be able to hear the music because I don't want to get a copyright strike. So if I come down here and we go to this particular song and I go ahead and start that, it'll show down here next to the title information. It's a FLAC 1644, but over here underneath the volume control, it shows that the DAC... Again, it's a 24-bit, even though Artivana thinks it's a 32. I've asked the guys at Artivana to check into it. And a power of two, it's sample, it's oversampling it at 176.4. So you can choose how you want to oversample. Let me go back to the audio section again. You can choose how you want it to oversample uh, and what frequency. So 
a lot of times when you're just streaming off the title app, if it's 1644, that's what your DAC is decoding, 1644. You don't have an option of oversampling. Um, if you want to uh, you know, stream off of Spotify, you're only going to get 320 anyway. But you have the option of oversampling MP3 as well through Audubonna. But you can't do it. Most DACs don't allow you to choose what your, sample, your oversampling options or, freak, or uh, scheme is where with Audubonner you can. So just to give you an example, right now, as I said, we've got my shit Bifrost connected, and I'm gonna come down here to this little box, and I'm gonna go ahead and choose a different icon, a different one. So I have a shit Modi Uber, it's an old AKM one, it's, I don't know, four, three or four years old. Now I can choose that to be my DAC, and when I come back up here, you'll see it's the shit too, and it, again, it'll show me what it's capable of doing. I don't know why it shows DSD because it's not necessarily DSD. Um, but if I come over here then and click on this, it's it does show as being an MQA decoder, and I don't know why. I don't. It isn't. Uh, I think it's the AKM chip may have that capability. It's just whether or not shit decided to do it. Um, I'll have to test that and get back to you guys. Um, but the other option I have is is I can come down here and I can choose my audio quest dragonfly black usb dongle and again it will right it's it shows it's a certified device because audio quest is a plays with Audervana uh partner just like rune certified it's like audio it's like Audervana certified so we can apply the recommended settings and it'll show 2496 mqa renderer it automatically detected that with the the dragonfly back so if i just go ahead and apply that then hit okay that's where it'll go and i come but down here and go to my upsampling options and it'll show that it's going to just uh 2x because that's all the DAC can do i can only do 2x i can choose to do more but it's not going to give me any more than 2496 that's all the DAC can do now, one of the other options I have is custom stuff. So let me come back here. So again, you saw with the, um, let me exit that. You saw with the uh, shit Modi Uber, right? I had adjust adjustability in sample rates and everything else. And with the, the Dragonfly Black, it Audervana recognized it. And obviously Audervana and AudioQuest are uh, associated kind of partners with the plays with Artervana sc uh, scheme. Like I said, it's kind of like Rune Ready or compatible with Rune, but it's uh, Artervana's version of that. Um, but I'm going to come back here and I'm going to go ahead and choose my shit Bifrost again real quick because there's some interesting stuff I can do with that. So we're going to come down here and then I, because I can do up to 192 with upsampling, I can customize it if I want to. So if I come down here and I choose custom, it's gonna give me a bunch of different options. What algorithm do I wanna use? My bandwidth and Nyquist frequency, this stuff here I don't understand. I like it linear phase. But if it's 44 kilohertz, I can set it to upsample two, and I happen to think 96 kilohertz sounds best on my DAC. 48 hertz, I can upsample that to 96 automatically. Same with 88.2. Obviously, 96 is going to be 96. 176, I'm going to leave at 176. And 192, I'm going to leave at 192. And since there's nothing at 352 and 384, I'm not even going to bother with it, um, changing those. So right now, this DAC is set to anything at 1644, 1648, occasionally, um, AAC, Apple stuff, MP3, it'll automatically upsample to 24. 96. If it's a 2448, there's a lot of Kobo stuff that's 2448, quote unquote, high res, then it will upsample it automatically to 96. Same with any stuff that's 88.2, there's very little. And the 96 stuff will be 96. And then again, I just leave the higher sample rates to, to, to work out at their own sample rate. So again, you have a lot of options in here on how you want to configure your DAC, which most of the time, SMSL topping, LOXG, uh, I'm not sure about any of the Ever Solo stuff. I've never played with any of it. The shit DACs, um, any of the iFi Zendac products, 
you have no choice on what they're doing with the signal. If it's getting fed 1644, it's going to decode it at 1644. And sometimes upsampling can improve the sound quality. Obviously, it, it softens the filter on the digital side so that there's less artifacts closer to the audible frequency range. And I'm not a big fan of maxing out, but if you wanted to and your DAC was capable of doing DSD up to, let's say, uh, 128 or 256, you can come in this software and you can have your DAC upsample everything to DSD. So let's say you had a Brooklyn MyTech or a nice SMSL SU8 or SU9 or a topping uh, D50 or a LOXG D30. You can choose to have that upsample all the signals, whether it's MP3 or FLAC or AUG Vorbis or AAC or whatever. You can have it upsample it to DSD. I've tried it. I don't hear a difference, so I just don't bother with it. And again, I don't do much DSD, even though I've got almost 500 DSD album, uh, SACD, al uh, SACD files. Um, I just convert it to PCM. It sounds the same to me. I've done the DSD to PCM comparison side by side, AB switching, and I don't hear the difference. But, you know, your mileage may vary. So anyway, in Artivana, again, you have the flexibility to adjust how your DAC treats the incoming signal, what it does with it. And I think that adds an awful lot of uh, flexibility feature and, you know, can improve sound quality. Um, and, and you can just enjoy it that way. So now that I've got it set to a custom upsampling, I'm going to go ahead and start that file again, and you'll see where we go with it. And again, it's a FLAC 1644 lower right hand, left hand corner. And if we look over on the lower left hand side underneath the software volume control, you'll see it's processing at 3296. And I think that sounds really good. Um, and again, you know, let me go ahead and cancel exclusive mode. That's what the little lock means is it's an exclusive mode. So if I were to pause it, I can't adjust the deck. I have to break the exclusive mode connection by unlocking it. And then I can come over here and I can choose my settings here. So it shows all the different decks. Because I have HDMI connected to this little PC I use, it shows that. Because I have the Intel display and the upgrade, it shows the macro silicon. Then the shit Bifrost, the shit Modi Uber, the Auto Crash Dragonfly Black. Again, the smart sound, that's actually the TV's sound. And then it does have, I can do Chromecast if I want to. And it's picking up my Google Home speaker upstairs in the kitchen. Um, and then I can choose my network if I want, Wi Fi or if I'm hardwired. And again, this little gear gives me access to that audio channel where I can change my settings. So hopefully you guys saw some interesting stuff there. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments, obviously, please put them in the comment section down below. Um, and I'll try to answer those as quick as I can. Um, and if you don't mind, I don't care about subscriber count because I'm not trying to monetize the channel. I'm just trying to offer some assistance to everybody. But if you give me a like, that'll let me know you saw it and you thought I'm doing okay. And I would appreciate any feedback on the videos if I'm going too fast or there's some, you know, a little more in-depth stuff you want to find out about, let me know. Um, someone had asked me questions about um, editing the, uh, 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 I, what is it, IDV4 tags in, in music files. I have a way of doing that through a, a piece of freeware called MP3 tag. I'm going to do a video on that because it gives you the ability to change not only MP3 files, but FLAC files, like Vorbis files. I can even go in and change the tagging on DSD or DSF files because those files, if you rip an SACD, there is no artwork, there is no information. Uh, it'll give you a track name and that's really it. So uh, with, MP with uh, MP3 tag, you can go in and add album artwork. You can add additional information album names, artist names, whatever you want to do. So I will do a video on that later, maybe over the holidays. So everybody, thank you so very much. I appreciate all your support. And again, if anybody has any questions or comments, please let me know down in the comment section below. And everybody have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.